Dashed off, I can talk my ass off. Hey, smoke you what you seen, and I'll tell you what I saw. Hollywood, what you think, and I'll tell you what I thought. And we can talk about it all when we hear on trash What's up? We back, we back. It's the Trash Talkers, guys. Episode number 12. 10 and 2. 10 and 2. Yes. Might need to We're get back. There you go. Smoke. I'm up in this piece. Look, Dude, man. Y'all. Uh, we, ain't, we ain't really got no topics today, but. Oh, I got a goddamn topic. Oh Lord, I'm pissed. Af- I'm pissed off, man. Okay, hold on. Before you tell them why you're pissed off, can I do something for the fans? Go ahead. Okay, guys, I want to apologize that the episode did not come out on St. Patty's Day because we did promise a shot with you. We had some technical issues. We did. Now he can't, due to his job. <laughs> but me on the other hand I'm gonna take a shot with you guys So yeah. with that being said Happy St. Patty's Day mm-hmm. Irish in this bitch And yes Got the vodka Got the yes call me cheap Call me Vodka you got a, a Russian drink It's Russian but I've had too much whiskey <laughs> I've had too much whiskey Guys and it's I'm sorry I don't have a shot glass So I'm taking it out of a medicine bottle <laughs> Janky yeah. Anyway hey Cheers to the trash talkers. <clears throat> Cheers. Close to a thousand. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Ooh, we are close. Yes, sir. March to a thousand continues. So this shot is for you guys. Happy St. Patty's Day. Think it and sink it, as they say. <laughs> GMM, that's a plug. <laughs> All right, Smokey. What the hell are you so mad about? I know. <clears throat> dear God, I know you know about. There was a shooting, a mass shooting in New Zealand. Yes, I heard something about it. You're going to have to kind of like... So, this asshole claims he's doing this for gun rights. So, this stupid son of a bitch wants to initiate a war between basically uh, government or whatever his retarded mind is thinking that... He's going to start this war between the government and, and the anti-gun people versus the freedom, the patriots, the gun people. Hmm. And he does it by getting these automatic weapons and shooting 25 people to death in a mosque while they are in there worshiping. Wow, they're in a mosque. Yes. Huh. It was actually two separate shootings. And I'm not going to say his name because he's a piece of shit. You. So why does that bother you so much? Because it, I am for, listen, I am for less government control. Okay. You know, I don't even, I don't stockpile guns. I don't prep for doomsday. But I am for less government control. I'm for freedom. I, I you know, it's it's tied in with patriotism these days. But I'm not necessarily this hardcore patriot. Go, you know, military, kill everybody. Man, I, I'm for freedom. Which, I, which amendment is our amendment to, to the right to bear arms? Second. Okay, so you're, you, you're for that. Yes, I am for the Second Amendment. Now, I'm not for mass shootings. Of course not. And but, but let me say, I'm sorry, I, I got you, mm-hmm. but... This guy that did this um, is an asshole. You're right. He's a fucking dick. Why are you? It reminds me of the sh- the Charleston shooting. You remember that? Yeah. Where the guy went into the white dude, yes. with all and, black and church, and yeah. just. I mean, and he was just as big of an idiot. Now, <laughs> somehow thinking that this fool is gonna do this, and he had a team with him apparently, a bunch of stupid assholes just like him. So it was more than one person. Yeah, I, they, I, you know, I don't. Bro, say his name. I uh, know. I don't. I don't. I'm not gonna say his name. That's what he fucking wants, man. That's what he wants. He wants that recognition. He wants to be famous off of doing the stupid shit that he did. He Facebook lived himself with a body cam going through this mosque, oh, blasting wow. people. Damn. Yeah. I heard about. Damn. I didn't hear all that. What I saw on on the mainstream media, which I don't trust, so it's kind of hard for me to. I know you're. This is near and dear to your heart, but mm-hmm. I don't trust 
mainstream media. CNN, Fox, yeah. ABC, I don't trust them. So, well, well, it was on Facebook Live, so well, it was coming directly from, from him. him. Right, I understand that. Now, my thing is, yes, it's fucked up he did that. It's terrible that he went into a mosque where p- people are practicing their religion, yes. and you go in and just let off a whole round. Yes. My thing is, why? Did he die? No. They took him into custody. They should have shot his fucking If that was in America, he would have been dead that day. What if he was white in America and that happened? No, he would have still been dead. You think so? Well, I guess the the Charleston guy got got out. Still still alive. You can I can name uh the uh Columbine shooters. Yeah. They killed themselves. Yeah. But see, that's the thing. That proves how much he really wanted the attention. He didn't kill himself. I mean, he definitely wanted to make a statement, and he did that. How many people died? 25. Fuck. Oh, what I was getting at is the only news that I saw them post was New Zealand puts a ban out on automatic weapons. So my question is, is, does New Zealand have an amendment like America has? Do they have a right to bear arms like we do? Yeah, they did. They're going to lose that shit now. Well, we can't have automatic weapons. No. And they can't now either. I mean, they're they're definitely going to push that. The prime minister came out and said that she is definitely changing the gun laws at this point. Because you know, the of this same sh- thing happened in Australia. There was one mass shooting. They banned guns completely. Right. You know, and this is the problem. It's somewhere in his stupid, twisted mind. He thinks that this is helping the cause. You know, it doesn't it doesn't help when you you're like, "Oh, I'm for freedom. I'm for guns. Let me shoot up all these people so I can start a war and we can win." No, you're a fucking idiot. So, what was what kind of was he trying to start a race war? Was he trying to start a religion? No, he wanted to start like this war amongst the people versus freedom. the government. Yeah. Huh. Which makes it seem like a plant right that's why i don't trust mainstream media to get some kind of legislation passed <laughs> here's the conspiracy mind in i me. mean it could be mk ultra it could be anything it, or it, here's my conspiracy mind it could be the mainstream media not in america we've had dude have you seen how many killings have been going on in georgia lately mm-hmm. did you yeah. there was a guy recently that went into a just a in southwest atlanta and with the ak-47 it just started letting off clips did you see that it yeah ha- good thing they had that automatic weapon ban that stopped it right no it no didn't. it didn't stop it yeah not only that there was a lady just a random old lady that got sh- shot three times yeah. man it's, damn dude gun it's horrible con- so that brings up gun control I believe you as an american you have the right to freedom of speech and you have the right to bear arms yes but there should be limitations on that. I think the protocol for you to get that arm should be extremely uh, difficult. Yes, I agree. You should have a psychiatric psychiatric evaluation. Now, th- we do not have a gun problem. Uh, an average person off the street does not pick up a gun and go, hey, now I want to murder people. You just fucking scared me with that face, but go ahead. It doesn't happen. It's. Dear God, I, I wish I had five minutes alone with this asshole. Just well, five minutes in a room, bare knuckle. So, what do you think his sentence will be? I promise you, this is New Zealand. Oh, I promise you, he won't get life. I promise you, he won't. I don't even I don't, know if they have life there. But he did. They kill. don't. I don't think they have like like we have. You could get fifteen life sentences. Yeah, but a life sentence is what seven years. No, it's 25. But you can get out on good time. Wow. I mean, fucking Freeway Ricky Ross got out, and mm-hmm. he fucking served half of the West Coast, but he was tied in with the yeah. government. Well, even Charles Manson was up for parole how many times? It was just lucky enough that the people involved, you know, the families of the dead people, would keep showing up. To make sure he never got out. That's interesting. Think about this. Think about this for a second. A person that funded millions of dollars of cocaine and basically made a crack epidemic. Mm -hmm. He's out of jail. But a person Mm -hmm. that didn't kill anybody died in prison. Yeah. I mean, you see what I'm saying? And and the person that got out that did the crack epidemic was black. So he's out. Yeah. But the guy that didn't kill anybody is white, 
and he died in prison. Yes. So you hear a lot of these people say, oh, well, I'm not being racist, but they'll say a black man does this and he spends the rest of his life in jail. Here's a prime example. O.J. Simpson. Let me ask you this. Did O.J. Simpson kill those people? I got to lean 75% yes. 25% no? Yeah. You know what, what, what made me think yes is because of that interview he gave where they're like, okay, let's do all this hypothetically. Say you were, just for shits and giggles, say you were the killer, how would you have done it? So he thinks about it and he goes on like, well, I would have came around the corner. I would have stabbed Ron Gold. You know, whatever he said. I bet know. he did that And too. he got deep into the interview like, yes, and then I did this, and then I did that. And he started talking about it in first person. Oh, wow. He dropped third the whole, person. Yes, he got carried away and dropped the whole hypothetical wow. and told them exactly what happened <laughs> on that night. You know, O.J. Simpson wrote a book called If I Did Do It. Yes. And there was the subsequent interview that came along with that. That goes, I don't If I feel like subconsciously deep down inside if you did something but you got off of it for instance uh, OJ Simpson he mm -hmm. we know fucking OJ killed those people yeah. he got off right yeah Michael Jackson we know he fucking yeah. pet molested those kids he got off right yes R. Kelly we know that he was on that he's probably gonna get off in the end right yeah so I feel like but you were saying the interviews now they interviewed OJ Simpson and he knows and we know you did it and he mm -hmm. knows he did it so him not, he not, he's not talking in third person he's talking in first person well i did this and i did this for instance uh r kelly when they when he said do you like underage girls when you say underage how do you, i mean it's yeah. just like you're not talking in third person you're talking in first person so we you know you did it mm -hmm. it's just the legal system couldn't prosecute you yes now here's my point man where in someone's twisted mind does it make sense that if I kill a bunch of people, this will help the cause of freedom uh, to carry, you know, whatever he wanted. People do not see a mass murder of innocent people and go, you know what? We need less government control. No, they run to the government and say, please protect us from these stupid assholes. Just like that dumbass. That's what they do, and that's how they get legislation passed. And to hell with that some bitch from New Zealand. He said in his fucking manifesto that if he could do it in America, if he had the means to get to America, he would have done it here. No, the some bitch would not have done it here because he would have been shot halfway through the some bitch. Somebody would have had a fucking gun. Fuck that motherfucker, man. So, damn, in New Zealand, do they have a right to bear on? How come nobody shot that motherfucker? If there's 25 people in there, how come nobody because shot them? Because this is one of the most peaceful places on earth. They they don't You're they're right. not used to violence. They've never had a mass shooting. Or was it a people government? People don't plant? just carry guns in the street over there because it doesn't happen. If that happened in America, he'd be dead. What? You you, th you th somebody somebody with the as many guns as we have in America. Somebody walking by is going to have a gun. There was one hero in that mosque that tried to stop him. Did he have a gun? No. One guy, you can see it. Don't watch the video. It's it's horrible. I turned it off halfway through. It was like a 20-second clip. I couldn't watch any more of this. But one guy jumped up and made a run for that dude. Wow. And, and he, he turned him. on him and blasted him to Fuck, death. Fuck, dude. Damn. But if that guy would have had a gun... He could have shot him from across the room and put an end to all that I'm curious, does New Zealand have an, a gun to where an a innocent civilian can carry a gun? Can they? Yes, do? they could. I can see that this is really touching to you, bro. It is, because it set everything back another 25 years, man. It set everything, every, everything in the name of freedom and liberty. He just pissed on it. So how, All in the name of him saying that's what he was working for. Fucking so idiot, how, man. How come, how come you didn't feel the same way when the guy shot up the, the church in Charleston, South Carolina? What's the difference? Because he wasn't claiming to be working for people like us who believe in freedom. Okay. He was just a racist. Well, he said bag. he wanted to start a race war. Yes. But this guy said, I'm doing it for patriotism. Exactly. Gotcha. 
And I, uh, sorry, I said no, exactly. No, we fuck it. Say your hell ex- with this son bitch, man. It's it's infuriates me. I, I just I want I want to be in a room alone with him somehow. Man, you wouldn't do shit. Shut your ass. I'm just fuck. I'm trying to lighten it up, man. Calm down. Look, I understand where you're coming from, Smokey. I understand. Now. We got to send a, first of all, this is not a joking matter, man. This is not joking. And our condolences to the families, our condolences to the people that passed. We send our prayers out to you guys. New Zealand strong. Yes. Um, That's where I want to retire to. I want to live. And in that very town, Christchurch. That uh, Wait a minute. The name of the town was called Christchurch? Yes. And the shooting happened where? In Christchurch. In a mosque in Christchurch. This don't sound conspiratorial to you? Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. It could be MK Ultra. It could be anything. But either way, it's going to get legislation passed. That's that's the problem. You can't. Oh God! Man. It just makes it makes no sense that this guy's going to write a manifesto saying that he's doing this for people who need guns. Did he already write the manifesto? Yeah, of course. Before it happened. Before it happened. Yes. That if you ask me, a manifesto when you do something like that is basically a suicide letter. Mm-hmm. It's basically is basically what that is. Yeah. Um. I damn. Mean, there, there's situations like Timothy McVeigh and. Well, talk about Timothy McVeigh. He was the ninth, the Olympic bomber, right? No, he was the Oklahoma abortion clinic bomber. Bomber. Who was the guy that bombed the, the Eric Robert Rudolph? How the fuck do you know all this shit? Hey man, chill. Look, I know this is a sensitive subject to you, but I, 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 look, I want you to get your passion out. I want you to speak your mind, get it out there. Yeah. But I also want that Smokey that talks about fucking gorillas that rape humans <laughs> and create Bigfoot. Look, yeah, I'm going to let it go, and I, I promise I'm not going to be like this the whole show. But I just had to get that off my chest that there's an idiot out there who somehow in his head he thought that he was going to change. The status quo by doing the stupidest shit you could ever come up with. So this is what I want you to do. That's him right there in that camera. What would you say to him right now? You better hope I don't meet you. Like I, I mean, I know, I know in my mind, there's ninety nine point ninety nine point ninety nine ninety nine 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 percent chance that I'll never see this dude face to face. But if you do, but if I do, he's gonna die. With your bare hands? Barehanded. Wow. I don't need a gun. Wow. Well, on a lighter note, the globalists. The globalists. <laughs> Dude, I don't want to. I don't want to get off of that, man. This kind of hold on, bro. Think about this. I'm, I'm gonna settle down. No, no. I want to get back on it. Yeah, let's let's do that. But I'm gonna settle down. All right. This, I don't. Want, I don't. I don't feel good about being in this state. I like it. I like it, dude. I like you see. I like seeing you turn the fuck up. Look, this is the conspiracy, conspiracy, uh, conspiracy, conspiracy mind of myself. This happened in Church Town, Christ Church, Christ Church. Okay, and it happened in a mosque, which mm-hmm. is basically a church or a place of worship. Yes. And he said, "I'm doing it for freedom." Yeah. So. And it's posted all over mainstream news. Mm-hmm. It just seems, that's what he wanted. Yeah, but how do you know that the ABCs, the CNNs, the government didn't want us to want that? Like maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe they, maybe they. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Maybe that, they hired him. Hey, put this body cam on. Hey, here's an M16. Go into this. See, we can't go into that and just uh, assume outrageous things i mean it may may very well be true we don't know i mean i'm also the same person that assumes we live on a flat disc that spins infinitely <laughs> through space yeah i'm just saying man it, I, I, that's what i'm saying like it could be mk ultra it could be a brainwashed he could have been a manchurian candidate or government plan if there are globalists globalists that need people taken out so that they can get their certain laws passed without fights from the public because stuff like that happens and people go please government protect us we need more laws we need more rules i i I will gladly give up my freedom just so you can keep that from happening again oh okay woosa 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 i want to say this though all right we live in a southern state to where we have the right to bear arms Mm -hmm. marijuana is not legal in georgia 
No. And we mentioned this on the Leanne the Medic episode. Yes. But there are people in California where marijuana is legal that are willing to give up uh, legal marijuana mm-hmm. to be able to carry a concealed weapon. So, I mean, we have it good, man, if you think about it. Yeah. I mean, it, it's an up and down thing, you know, like what if they came in tomorrow and they said, listen, the state of Georgia, if you no, I don't care who you are. If you are a civilian and you have a gun, you, that's a felony. It's going to happen. You think it pisses me off? But yes, because of shit like that. But that didn't happen in the U.S. I mean, it doesn't think, matter. Think about how many mass shootings happen in the doesn't U.S. Doesn't matter. I mean, yeah, it happened, and every time we get a step closer. I the, mean, we're just, we've been lucky so far that people have fought back. Because of patriotism. And I know there's people watching who are completely anti-gun, completely liberal, left, and that's fine if that's what you want to be. But I believe in freedom, man. I believe in liberty, individuality. I believe that if that's what you need to protect your family... You should have one. I mean, is there really anything wrong with a dude keeping a thirty-eight in his house just in case a robber breaks in? True. Or someone could argue, what if you just take all the guns away? And I know that's impossible to do. But well, what, that's, what if, what, that's what a lot of people want, though. Is that possible, though? You can't do that. I mean, people can make their own fucking At guns. At this point, you know, um, there was a... Uh, I can tell you something crazy, but go ahead. There was a, a big China, a Chinese... Um, Jeez, I can't remember the name right offhand, but back in the day, it was said by a head of China, um, a certain politician in China. <laughs> no. <laughs> you look like you need a cigarette right I now. Bro. I sure do. But listen, so he said that we will never invade the U.S. Because China is basically strong enough to invade whoever they want, except for the U.S. And the reason they won't invade the U.S. is because the citizens are armed. He actually uh, said, the quote was, there will be a gun behind every blade of grass. I do remember that. But mm-hmm. I think China outnumbers us, right? Oh, by far. So, I mean, you're talking 2 billion people compared to 350 million. million. Okay, so take two. I don't know, bro. Think about that. If 200, 2 billion, mm-hmm. 2 billion people came in at one time against 300 million people and all let's say half 150 of them have 150 million have a gun yes that two billion without guns eventually is probably yeah but they would lose lots of sure but they might win that war if they were crazy enough to do it i'm not saying i mean we're talking about we're talking about kamikaze uh, but the people being armed is definitely a big reason we haven't been invaded you think that's one of the reasons we've never had a war on U.S. soil? Yes. I mean, we had, well, you know, civil. Back, we haven't had any since the Civil, civil war. war. We had, you know, uh, the the British War, you know, the Revolutionary yeah. War. We had uh, the Mexican-American War. Texas you know. and Mexico. Yeah, yeah I remember. But, well, I don't remember, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were um, alive? No, I wasn't. Look, this is the bottom line to the whole gun thing. If it came down to it, Smokey, and this is coming from the bottom of my heart, and I need you to answer this question with with every American truthful bone in your body, okay? Mm -hmm. You ready for this? Yeah. The Rock versus three... (laughs) Mark Zuckerberg. Versus three Mark Zuckerbergs. Who wins? You have The Rock in one corner against three Mark Zuckerbergs. Who wins? Okay, so let's let's break this down. The Rock is six foot five. (laughs) Okay. A good, right. a good 280 pounds of muscle. Okay. Mark Zuckerberg is what, five foot six? No, he's like six two. <laughs> no. Now, have you seen the picture of them two standing together? No, but I'm. Sh- I, no, I, he comes. He comes up to Rock's armpit. <laughs> no. And he weighs probably okay, a third. Okay. So how? Okay. That. All right. So three Mark Zuckerbergs. We got. I'm sorry, Mark Zuckerberg would beat three Mark Zuckerbergs. You think would you beat, could absolutely. I mean, this this is a big chance. I mean, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm sure. What the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> That's what the internet's what going the crazy are we about. Talking about the internet wants to know. This is what I think. If they had time, okay. If they were, how, how would the three Zuckerbergs take out the Rock? The Rock. This is what I would. If they, if it was a planned real fight, mm-hmm. what they would? Okay, y'all got six months to train. The Rocks. 
pushing weights, pushing weights, <laughs> people's elbow and motherfucker, pounds, uh. people eyebrow and everybody. Mark Zuckerberg, <laughs> the three Mark Zuckerbergs are over there building fucking uh, electronic computers that the minute you touch me, it's going to fire a laser off. So, well, yeah, but let's, let's say it's hand to hand combat. No, no weapons, Mark. It doesn't matter. You could take three chicks against one dude. Those, it doesn't matter. I don't know about see. Yeah, here. I mean, I mean, I don't see three random chicks off the street with no fighting ass. skill. Being, I, I don't think they could beat GSP, let alone they. Fuck no. Someone just three, just as big as three of them. But we're talking about three Mark Zuckerbergs here. Yeah. We're talking about three marks. Where are we, bro? Where are we right now? <laughs> we are on the. We're deep on the internet right now. <laughs> Look, would it be bad for me to take one more shot for the fans? I don't care, man. Fans, hey, one more for you guys. I took one, but hell, why not? What what, what, what are we talking about next, man? Oh, what you got? Oh, we got some new um, we got some new Mandela effects. Let's, dude. You hear that they're they're actually coming out with the new Shazam. Yes, but it's of course not Sinbad. Of course not. But, but you know they had to come up with that idea. They're playing off the Sinbad's in that movie though. Is he? He is. He's oh, a, I didn't know that. He's an extra in that movie. Oh wow! <laughs> Everybody, salut, cheers, cheers to the fallen. Whew, I'm not going to talk about it anymore. I promise that was my last rant on that stupid son of a bitch. I'm ever. glad you got it out, though, man. I had to, man. I, I, so stupid. <laughs> Listen, I, I like I like freedom, man. Right. I like freedom. Right. And what he did was anti-freedom. I feel you. I, I don't want to make this whole podcast about him. Yeah. I know you are strong about this, Smokey. I know you want to... I know, bro. Mm-hmm. You're an American. You're... Pure-blooded Irish Cherokee American mm-hmm. with a with a psychopathic record tattoo on one arm and an SHI hey, on the other. Don't expose the business, man. I'm just saying, you you. you yes, I used to have a a job. I mean, that's part of your history, bro. Yeah. I want to tell a story, man. Okay. I want to tell a story. We'll get into the Mandela effects in the closing. Okay. Well, don't forget it then. No. Okay. All right. This is I. I told you guys about. I don't know what made me just think of this, but I want to tell some of my past that uh, happened. You don't have to. I can. I can tell some road stories, man. Yeah. I mean. All right. Let me tell you guys what happened. One time, this was during my drug escapade days. Mm-hmm. I think. I want to say the drug I was doing was cocaine. Oh Jesus! Yeah, I mean, and I didn't do lines. I didn't do bumps. I did piles. I did piles of coke. You know, I would get a gram and it'd be gone in two hits. I'm sorry to bring up drugs, but I, this it pertains to the story. Uh, bye bye monetization. No, we can, bro. Come on, you can. No, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so it was me and a friend of. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> it was me and a friend of mine, dude. And I'm not gonna say his name and I'm not gonna say who we sold it to, but we had I think we got two grams of coke the night before. And uh-huh. this was a Friday. So Saturday we're waking up. Guys, I was young. I was seventeen, maybe eighteen, just getting out of high school right before college. And I'm fucking partying, fucking bitches. God, I'm sorry to put this language out there i'm sorry but okay so we did two gram two people two grams of blow on friday yes saturday comes around we want more right Mm -hmm. so one of my psychedelic buddies hits me up (laughs) and he says hey bro you know where to get any acid from you know what i said wow absolutely i sure as fuck do come i got matter of fact i got blotter acid I got blotter acid. It's on a sheet of paper, and you put that sheet of paper under your tongue. That motherfucker's gonna fuck you up. So you know what I did, or me and this other guy did. I feel so bad. We took stamps, right? Uh huh. Cut them in fours, right? So it's like little tiny squares. We got Raid Roach spray. Sprayed that bitch down, bro. I I mean, soaked it in Roach spray. I don't. It's his past incriminating. So, and he came by, and I told him it was twenty dollars per hit. So he bought four of them. Mm-hmm. Do the math. It's eighty bucks, right? Mm-hmm. So, comes by, calls me the next day. 
bro, fucking best ass that I've ever had in my life. You got any more of it? Jesus. You, you got any more? Yeah. How much more you want? And I do. <laughs> that was just the, the the mentality of me being a drug addict. I don't know what made me want to tell that story. So apparently, you can get high off road spray. Or it was a placebo. Probably. That's what I'm thinking. It was placebo because he he. I, I mean, this guy is. I'm talking about straight out the '60s. He's not. When I was I was 17, 18. This guy may have been 50, 60 years old. Mm-hmm. You know, psychedelic guy. I give him. Me and this guy, we I'll never forget it. We took a stamp, cut it in fours, covered it in roach spray, and then we put it in little baggies that we had the coke from the night before. We washed the coke out, put them in the baggies, gave it to him. Called the next day, bro, I need more. Best asset on the world. I'm just saying, guys, don't do drugs, man. Don't do don't. drugs. Please don't do drugs. This is the kind of shit you get into when you do drugs. I, God, dude, I could tell you so many stories, man. Yeah. W- one more quick one. One more quick one. This is when I was uh, about 18, 19. I'm 30, uh, 31, almost 32 now. 32 next month. My birthday will be in less than 20 days. But one time, God, I feel so bad saying this shit, bro. One time, if y'all don't know what an opiate withdrawal feels like, y'all, uh, <laughs> women... Picture going through labor for three weeks in a row. I say picture having a really bad flu, like the worst flu you ever had in your life. Then you walk out and get hit by a truck, and the recovery from that is for, what opiate withdrawals feel like. For about two or three weeks, right? Yes. Maybe yes. a month. Yeah, so, depending on which opiate. Right. Is. I'm going through full-blown withdrawals, and these were from Roxy, Roxycon, Roxycodone, 30 milligram Oxycodone is what they were. And... There was a oh God. I feel so bad, dude. This was in my past. I'm sorry, but this chick was an older lady. She might have been, I don't know, maybe late fifties, early sixties, and mm-hmm. she was the lady I bought the Roxy's from, right? Yes. So she told me, me, I had no money. You know, I'm, I'm fiending for the, for the fix, and she says. Or I call her and I'm like, look, do you have any? She was like, yeah, I got 13 I can sell you. Now, these pills go for $25 a piece. So I told her, give me 10 of them. Give me mm-hmm. 10 of them. I got 250 bucks, right? Mm-hmm. So I will never forget it. She told me to meet her. I don't want – fuck it. I'll say the neighborhood. Brentwood. You know Brentwood? Yeah, I know the – Brentwood. Yeah. Okay, so we pull right by the pool. And I'm in a little Honda Prelude, stick shift, black Honda Prelude. And I'm trying my best not to show my withdrawals when I pull up. <laughs> hey, how you doing, you know? And I'm like, oh, somebody told me you gave them some uh, fake ones. I just need to make sure they're real before I give you the money. So I'm sitting at the car. She pulls out the pills. I look at them. Oh, Bro, God. she's holding on to the fucking... I swear to God, I'm flying down the road. She's like holding on. I'm like, get off, get off, get off. Bro, I pushed her off the car. I swear I thought I ran this lady over, dude. I thought I ran this old lady over just to get high, man. Wow. Say no to drugs, y'all. Please. Like it's It sounds like all fun, but trust me, it's... It, it leads to a road where you don't want to be. Not at all. If, if there's one regret I have in life is, and that's ever take, I don't believe in regrets because everything you did in your past made you who you are today. Yeah. But I regret ever taking a pain pill. You can have regret without wanting to change the past. Do you have any regrets? Uh. Think about that, man. Yeah, that's that's definitely a question that I'd have to think about for a while. I I've never really looked at it as you know I regret this point in time. I reg- I mean I mean give me some of your personal life. Do you have anything that you regret in your life? Is there one thing that you regret doing? I regret not taking a a record deal that we had laid out on the table. This is not a fun, exciting, people hanging off the car story. <laughs> Running over old ladies to get high. But um, roach spray acid. At one point in time, this may actually have been right before you came around. I think so. But me and the two other guys that was in the group at the time. You want to say their names? This, it was Boondocks and Product. For you guys who don't know, Google Boondocks. Mm-hmm. He, he was a close friend of ours. Just go, do your Googles. That'll say everything, but go ahead. Yeah. I mean, they uh, these guys had found our music because we were making up these 
uh, disc, you know, as you do back in the day. Right. You know, and Sharpie and our names on them and passing them out, you know, whatever. We would we would actually print up, uh, you know, the labels for them on the, the old disc I remember. Jets That's and, how I found <laughs> yeah. out about you. Yeah. So uh, somebody found our music and brought us over to his house. He lived in a really big house. Oh, and there's actually two situations where almost the same thing happened, but the other time was me solely. But um, and you you declined both. Yes. Now the first one, it was a group decision because the guy was starting a record label. He was rich, had a friend that was rich, and they had worked with major artists in the past. And I th- I think they had like one twelve in their background and blah blah blah. One twelve, the group. Yeah. One twelve was signed with so so deaf yeah i mean i'm not necessarily saying that they signed 112 i'm saying that they worked with them in they the were past. associates so yes. they, okay gotcha <clears throat> and the same thing with the next story i'll tell you but um it took us over to the house and you know they they drew up these contracts for us product farted in the guy's liver <laughs> shut up <laughs> did he really he did <laughs> hey man check this out <laughs> I could just see product doing that. Hey, you got some contracts for us? Hey, man, check. <laughs> he was so. Dude, product was hilarious when he was on. <laughs> He's still hilarious, yeah. dude. Shout out to Mr. Product. What's up? Yeah. But anyway, you know, it was a group decision that, you know, we weren't going to take it. They had money drawn into the contract, but, you know, they weren't going to pay us a ton right off the bat, but we were going to get some money and, you know, they were going to produce records for us and, you know, basically. They decided, like, no, we're not going to do that. So, we we didn't get that one. Now, Wait, so y'all didn't turn that down? <clears throat> they turned y'all down? No, no, we turned them down. It was the product and Dave that, I mean, Boondocks that decided they didn't want to do it at the time. And I guess it worked out for, for Dave, I mean, for Boondocks because he got signed. Before you go into your second story, if it was just you. I would have taken it. Really? Yeah that's what i'm saying i had that's a regret that i have i mean i would have taken that just to see where it could have landed right you know but hindsight's 2020 because at the time i really didn't know what was going to happen with my music in the future i mean i for all i knew at the time like oh, i want to be a lot bigger than what they're offering why give them the money but if i could go back and it was just me alone i probably would have taken that right. now the other time is um this uh shan hutchinson was a producer shan shannon hutchins female no it's a guy is it hutchins or hutchinson all right well he owns at this time he was just starting up this group or this label called average joe's records and oh, Lord. he got really into the country rap stuff that was starting to blow up at the time you know right. he had he was the producer for bubba sparks oh no, it wasn't before, Timberland. Okay, before it Timberland. It wasn't Timberland. No, he's the one that found Bubba Sparks and put him out. It's, he 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 produced for TLC on the big album. He produced for uh, Garth Brooks. And, who is this guy again? Look him up. What's his what's Shannon his name? Hutchinson. It's either Hutchinson or Hutchins. Shannon Hutchinson. Dude, I, I had, think it's Hutchins. I may be wrong. But. Bubba Sparks was huge, bro. <laughs> yeah. Hey, he had, I mean, we went to his apartment. He had all the records on the wall. Where is Bubba Sparks Platinum these records. days? I think he's uh, on Slum American with Yellow Wolf. and He's making music still? Jelly Roll and them, yeah. Jelly so. Roll's dope, dude. Yeah, he is. Jelly Roll is a lyricist, man. You, dude. Go ahead. But anyway, so I had a meeting with him one, you know, went by his apartment. We talked, whatever. He, he came back out to Covington, um... And we met him at a uh, Mexican restaurant, Los Charles, mm. and showed him the new album I had been working on or whatever. And he's like, you know, it's great. You're a good rapper. But. But we have this country thing is blowing up. And I was like, country. Who's going to well, listen to country well, rap? Where is he from? <laughs> Or is he from originally? I'm not sure. I mean, if he's in the city, if you think about it, we were country rappers, bro. Yeah, but he wanted to do straight. Uh, on a cowboy sitting yes. on a tractor. Uh, you know, chilling on the dirt road. Oh, yeah. yeah, gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, and but, that ain't our style, because we come in that bitch, I will stab you with an umbrella and open it, because <laughs> I'm sick like a diseased Ethiopian. <laughs> oh, we did some country stuff, and like he actually heard one song on the album that I had at that time, and... 
he was like yeah like this is because it was really country you know mm. he was like yeah and he starts talking about you, you have to have an angle you know you can't just be this white dude who does ghetto rap you know you have to have an angle you got and he's like i'm not gonna call it a gimmick but basically he was saying you need a gimmick that's exactly what he was saying mm-hmm. which you know boondocks learned that a gimmick is the way to make it apparently you want to tell him the boondock story as far as what have we done that on the podcast told him the boondock story maybe uh, but anyway yeah. i turned him down because i didn't see any future to this straight up country hick hop hick hop yes rap that's, that's a great name that was, that was the name that's for a the, great name the genre dude. when it started blowing up people called it hick hop wow now i mean he put out colt ford he put out this oh uh, you you missed out luke bryant jason you missed, aldean oh you missed yeah, out. yeah i did because i thought there was no future in it but that, uh, that's what, a regret that i don't I know who sings that song but that uh baby you're a song you made yeah. me want who, who's that um do you know that's the, the, the name slips me right is it luke bryant i don't know but what i'm saying is is nelly's in that song yeah you could have been that nelly yeah Okay, he had uh, some of Timberland's guys, like this dude named Attitude, who was a rapper. Right. He Wh- wrote most of Colt Ford's album White when dude? he first came out. No, it was a black dude. Hmm. They called him Attitude. He worked. For, um, see, we were doing shows with some of his artists around that time too. Uh, Scram and whatever his partner's name was, I, I forget right offhand, but they had their whole uh, college boy gimmick. They um spring break whatever Damn. partiers guys do you remember there was animal a, house that's what they were called uh, animal house i've heard of animal house yeah but that was a that was a gimmick going they around used to for open a while up for us do you remember there was a jewish rapper he had the college, lots of them now well back you remember he was a college like college boy and little dicky no before him college boy and, watsky keep going uh jewish college good persona uh, i was gonna say Ari the rugged man but he's not that's nah, not the good persona <laughs> man i don't know but anyway that was another regret you had yes yes that i didn't tr- at least try my hand in this whole country rap thing because could have been very lucrative yeah. as we saw you could have been that nelly on that song what were yeah you all right you good if nothing else i could have been writing for some of these dudes that had these multi-platinum hits Cause baby you're a song <laughs> Baby water Whatever he said Roll my window, window down, down And groove <laughs> <laughs> You know there's a whole a genre of like snap country now Like Like we, D4L type yes. shit Yes You know how we had the snap era Now, now country is going through that Right and they're doing all these electronic beats, and of well, course, all the country purists are like, "Oh, this is garbage." But you, you know, hip hop is the number one music genre in the world, right? Yeah, now. that was a comparison that I saw recently. That back when rock and roll was king, the country guys were copying rock and roll. Oh, right. So now that hip hop is king, that's what they're doing. It's a trends follower. You just follow what's hot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we hey, we discussed in New Zealand. Yeah. We discussed the hip hop. I want to hear about these Mandela effects you got. All right, uh, got some new ones for that. It's ass. cold in here, bro. We got the, <laughs> it's we a little got chilly. A little chilly in here. All right, tell me, tell me this. Oh lord, what's the tallest mountain on Earth? Mount Kilimanjaro. No. Yes, Mount Kilimanjaro. You sure? If it's not Kilimanjaro, it's Everest. As I was gonna say Everest. So, it's but Kil- it's not. Is it Kilimanjaro? No. Don't tell me. Some place in Australia now. What? (laughs) Yeah. uh, I remember in school being taught that Mount Everest Everest. was the tallest peak on Earth. And it's... And it's not. I don't don't know which one exactly is now. Come on. You can't give out facts like that. uh, Okay. Search it. While we're sitting here Googling it. Hold on, guys. Uh, So, you guys think about it. What is the tallest mountain? Let's see right now. Mm Mm-hmm. Tallest mount. Oh, uh, my phone just stopped. <laughs> of course. <laughs> As we continue the janky show. But hey, man, we're trash talkers. That's what we do. And y'all yeah. see, we promote the hell out of it, bitch. Look, we yeah. got BIM, <laughs> BIM, 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 BIM. You name it, we got it. Yeah, but in school, I remember being taught that Bert and Ernie. <laughs> <laughs> Bert and Ernie. <laughs> 
<laughs> like, you know about David Berkowitz? Yeah, but what about Burt and Ernie? Ernie. <laughs> I don't know how many people Burt and Ernie killed. I don't know how they fit into the Dude, they might have been serious. <laughs> no, the, the grouch. Uh-huh. The dude in the trash can. He was a fucking bum from hell. He lived in a trash can, dude. What's it saying? Okay. Kilimanjaro, so, right? No. Everest? It is saying Everest. So, whoever laid out these damn... Oh, I'm mad now. Fake news. Yeah, somebody laid out some fake Mandela effects, apparently. You got enough... Because oh. Google says that the highest one is Mount Everest. It says Mount Everest is called the highest mountain because it is the highest elevation above sea level. Huh. Well, that would make it the highest mountain. Yeah. Did you know, fun fact... Oh, I'm mad now. Well, I'm curious to hear your other Mandela effects that you got. But okay, just, go with your fun fact. Did you know that we live, if not sea level, but a little bit under sea level? Like, if you go to Louisiana... Atlanta's not. We're below sea level, right? No, no, we have a... We, Atlanta's on a plateau. Really? Yes. Well, Louisiana's below. Yes, of okay. course. Did you know that going... Like, say... Okay, say... We're, we live in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. You take a shit right now. Normal shit. You try to take a shit... In Mount Everest, completely different. I swear, bro, it's a proven fact because you're the you're so high in altitude that it constipates you, basically. Really? Yes, true fact. I guess that makes sense. I mean, there's probably less gravity up there too. That's why a lot of UFC fighters don't like to fight in like Australia because or Korea because of the. Uh, places with mexico high, city yeah with high altitudes yeah. because it drains your body if you're not used to that altitude yeah denver yeah mile high city that's why they call it that yeah is it coincidental that denver is the first place to legalize <laughs> medically and recreationally <laughs> marijuana and they're going. called the mile high city <laughs> come on now yeah is it a coincidence that right after uh, colorado was the first Washington was the second, right? In that same year, we had a Super Bowl. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> From Seattle and Denver. Seattle. Seattle, Washington. Oh, yes. Washington State. Yes. Okay, yeah. Damn, that Those is crazy. Those were the first two states to legalize. Marijuana. Yes. Hmm. And then they got together for a Super, Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Hey, let's pack this Super Bowl, guys. <laughs> and they packed the Super they Bowl. They packed it. Got high. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, you remember Raisin Bran, the cereal? I mean, it's still around. Ugh. But you, you, you remember the box, right? The yeah. purple box did with you, the sun on it? Did you fuck with Raisin Bran? Uh, not as a kid, no. Fuck no. Nothing soggy, but go ahead. Uh, do you remember the sun on the box? He always had the two scoops of raisins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <with> the t- <laughs> Do you remember him wearing sunglasses? Huh. He wore sunglasses, right? Even on the commercials. Uh, hold on. Y- okay, yeah. I do. They were like yeah. looks. Yeah. yeah. I remember. All right, well, that never happened. Show me a picture. Are you sure this ain't fake? Hold on, bro. I, I rem- right. Maybe I should fact <laughs> Yeah, check Google all that, dude. Because <laughs> I remember him having the two scoops of raisins. But, man, fuck. Raisin Bran. Fuck Raisin <laughs> Bran. There's no kid on the world that's like, what Mom. do you want for breakfast? Raisin Bran. Raisin Bran. <laughs> well, son, you have tricks. You got Fruity Pebbles. You got Cocoa Puffs and Raisin Bran. Mother, <laughs> I want the Raisin Bran. <laughs> <laughs> look, this does not look like the Raisin Bran I remember. Well, this is the Cranberries. Okay, well. So find me. No, well, dude. Why would no, the logo not? Well, Google this. Google this. Raisin Brand. Just Google this. Raisin Brand 1990. Just Google that. All right. And whatever box pops up. I mean, that's our era when we were children. Yes. So, did he have glasses on? It's still loading. Apparently, the internet doesn't want to work right now. You on my Wi Fi? Yes. Look, okay. man. Okay. Found one. Uh oh. He looks like he's high as hell. Wow. Damn, he doesn't have glasses on. He probably needs them with those red yeah, eyes. Yeah, god dang. That motherfucker <laughs> had three scoops of raisin bread. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, we putting three scoops in this one today. <laughs> Damn, dude, I was about to say something. Look, there, there's an old school one right there. No glasses. I remember him having glasses. I do, too. 
Okay, here's one. All right, now this isn't a Mandela effect, but this is just how crazy the uh, English language is. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, you know it's a car, the Grand. The all right, P R I X. Oh, Grand Prix. Okay, Grand Prix, right? Yeah. How do you spell Prix? P R I X. All right, so I'm gonna go get this cereal, and a cereal is called Tricks. How do you spell that? T R I X. So why is it my car called the Grand? Pricks. <laughs> oh, there's a <laughs> lot of those like that. Live, live. Like boot and food and uh, foot. and Like, how do you have double O's, but yet they make three different sounds? That's why they say the English language is the hardest language yeah. to learn. Uh, roof, roof. Yeah, roof. Uh, but I why think- do you say foot, foot? Like, this is my this foot. My f- Man, if you don't get all my foot. With your yeah. holy socks. Hey, man, they, they jesus in over here. You got some holy ass For socks, real. man. Look, I, I got to bring this up, but I I um I promised somebody that I would say, mention her in this podcast. Go for it. Um, I'm not going to say your name, but you are very beautiful, and I love what me. <laughs> you you looking at me like, bro. <laughs> I'm not going to say a name. No, I'm not. Because I got to appease all five of them. I, God, see, bro, why you got to do me like that? On, you know, look, on that note, we're taking another shot. But no, and the reason I'm bringing this up, remember the girl that I told you about that f- was from the South? And he was like, is she from yes, anywhere yes, from? Yes. I She is a huge listener of our show. She awesome. loves our show. Well, I love her. Uh, no, you don't, actually. You like her, sir. <laughs> we won't be I saying that anymore. You. Yes, it did. I'm highly protective when it comes to my women. But to you, you're so beautiful. Blonde hair, blue eyes. Thank you. Even though... Man, get your god! Uh, you were talking about me. No, man. Oh, Even it. though you don't like Hurt collard greens, bro. Oh, I, I love oh, oh, no, Never mind. Man, get off go, of you. Go for it. Look, dude. All right, I told you she didn't like fried chicken, right? Yeah. That was a lie. Okay. She, li- she likes fried chicken. Cause everybody likes fried chicken. Everybody. She likes sweet tea. Yeah. She do- but she's from the south. Doesn't like collard greens. Boo. Cabbage. She don't like cabbage. Boo. You like cabbage? Yeah. Okay, uh, fat back. You fuck with fat back. Oh that, hell yeah! Cornbread. Yeah. What? And she don't mess with none of this. That, she's from a different South. That is not the South that I grew up in. You? Oh, dude. Here. All right. Yes, you're beautiful. I just wanted to bring you up. You know they say. Okay. What do you? What states do you consider the South? Well, technically anything below the Mason Dixon line, but. There are certain states that don't fit into the north, like Ohio. That's a southern state. They cons- Well, they consider that Midwest. Yeah, exactly. That's not what I asked If you, you go from the Mason-Dixon line, if you're talking about you know, people that fought for the south or people that fought for the north. The Union? Yeah, Ohio would be part of the north. <clears throat> now, there's a bunch of rednecks in Ohio. There's a bunch of rednecks in dude. You go to some. I've been yeah, to New York, even in Maine, in and, New York. Yeah, there are some Upstate hillbillies New in New York. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I mean, I guess that is kind of stereotyping. But. So, do you consider South Carolina the South? Yes. North Carolina. Yes. Tennessee. Yes. Texas. Yes. St. Louis. That's kind of a blurred line right there, right? Oklahoma, I would say yes, but once you get into Missouri, I think it's Midwest. half and half, yeah. Okay, uh, Louisiana? Yes. Florida? No. Damn, bro, we, I <laughs> swear, man, it's like some Florida. I, now, North Florida is very south. Dude, there is a theory. Southern I, Florida is north. Dude, they say literally, some people honestly believe that Florida was a attached to new york mm-hmm. at some point and float it down that's why it's the, i swear <laughs> it makes sense doesn't it i mean people don't think florida is the south man no. you go there you don't it's not the culture it's not southern culture right you don't get the collard greens i mean a lot, a lot of them are transplants i mean once you go orlando and south you know jacksonville south yeah but you go Orlando, north. Miami? And Miami is well, Miami, Homestead. Yeah, all that's north. Key West? Yes. Yeah. Dude, I, me I mean, that's basically Bahamas. Cuba. <laughs> yeah, Cuba. You, you're in Cuba <laughs> well, now. Miami is a yeah, huge Cuban and Puerto Rican population. So why do you think they call it the north, man? I feel like we could talk Just because forever they, now. they don't have southern culture there. But it's... They this, don't eat it's grits. The, it's they, the most southern... Dude, she don't like meat. grits. Oh, God. Damn. She don't like grits. 
You hurting my feelings now. God, man. I, she don't like grits. That's crazy. And she's so pretty. Man. I'm sorry, but go ahead. You go to Miami, they're going to serve you tea without sugar in it. Huh? Yeah. What? That I mean, exists. That is a thing that exists. In a southern state. Yeah. Damn it, boy. What about Virginia? I consider that the south. Yeah, I think so. What about West the, Virginia is very south. I was about to say, what about North Virginia? <laughs> <laughs> North Virginia. Well, I consider, yes, it's the south, but West Virginia is like hillbilly. Yes. I think that's where the term came from. Yeah, it is. Did it? Well, uh, actually, I think it originated in Tennessee, but around the Appalachian area. Apple, okay. You know, there was, oh, this is pretty fun, man. There, there was actually names for patrons of each state. At some point in time. All right. You'll never guess Georgia, but we'll leave that for a second. I bet I could. Tennessee was hillbillies. Okay. You know, New Jersey was carpetbaggers. What? Yeah. That's what they called them because they would carry their suitcases and as uh, <laughs> fabric suitcases. That sounds like some racist bag. shit to Ohio, me. Ohio, Buckeyes. Oh, so you're going off of like sport team. Well, there's no, no carpet no. baggers. A lot of them are. Like Oklahoma were boomer Sooners. So they have a sports Sooners. team. I mean, yeah. Okay. You know. Um, what was Georgia. You ready? Hold on. What do you think it is? <laughs> Something. Uh, what is it? It's crackers. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no lie. For they real? Were, they were called Georgia crackers. crackers. <laughs> Damn. And when was this? Oh, uh, these early 1900s and back. Before slavery? At, no, during slavery? I mean, probably, yeah. Some of it probably was during slavery. And, so I would ask you, what were the South Carolinians called? Do you know? Uh, not right offhand. I think Florida was Geechee's. No, South Carolina's Geechee. Is it? Definitely. Okay. My fa- I'm from, trust me, Geechee. Yeah, I don't know Blood all of them, but I know that that's, yeah. Crackers. Georgia crackers. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I guess we're some Georgia <laughs> soda crackers in this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Man. That's what they called them. We actually had a uh, AAA baseball team. I don't want to say mm, AAA. It was a minor league baseball you're team. You're right. Called the Georgia crackers. Damn, I remember that. Uh-huh. I mean, of course, in our PC era we live in now, you ain't finna have no team called the Georgia Crackers. I believe we also had the Black Crackers. Bro, hold on. I was at work today. Mm-hmm. And a customer came to me. And I'm not saying names, but he plays softball. Mm-hmm. Did you know that there's an all-black softball team? And you're only allowed to have two white players on that black? And this is a real thing. It's called... I mean, I don't know what it's called, but it's a black softball team, and it's a major. Yeah, it's a major league, or not major league, but you know yeah. what I mean. It's big for softball, right? And you can only have two white people on there. Really? Now, That's racist, isn't it? Right now, imagine if it was flipped. Oh, this is the all, all white league, and you can only have yeah. Oh, there would be an outrage for that. Is that not crazy? And this is true shit. He's the pitcher of an all black team. He just happens to be white. And the other guy, I think, might be a shortstop. But mm-hmm. what if it was an all-white team and the pitcher just so happened to be black? Mm-hmm. That's crazy. We live in the Georgia cracker area. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crackers. We some crackers in this pee, man. We some crackers in the beer. Anyway, guys. What's up, my crackle? You got anything else you want to get on off, off your chest? I, I got two more uh, Mandela effects, what man. What you got? What you got? How much time we got? Oh, we definitely in it, bro. We in it. Uh... Actually, we haven't even hit the hour mark yet. Did you... Okay, two movies. Okay. Did you ever watch Scary Movie? Yes. Wayans Brothers, right? No. No? Uh, Scary Movie was the Wayans Brothers. Scary Movie... No. It was the parody of, like, Scream and... Oh, yes, you're right. Sorry. You're right. Do you remember in that movie, they were doing the the parody of The Sixth Sense? Yes. What's the famous line from The Sixth Sense? I see black people. Oh, well, I see dead people. Yeah. So from Sixth Sense. What did Wayan say? I see black people. Or I see white people. I see white people. He didn't say that. Now, if you go back and watch it, he says, I see dead people. He said the exact same no. line. Yes. No. Unless this is fake news. No, I don't believe it. Hey, man, Mandela need to be up on one this one. more. One more. What's yeah, we, do, we need to get one. him in on this. He's, he's looking at us like, now y'all know goddamn well. <laughs> he's stupid shit. <laughs> What's the next one? <laughs> Last one. I'm a I'm I, I was a fan of the Matrix. You okay. like you ever watched the Matrix? Absolutely. Red pill, blue pill. Okay. What did Agent Smith oh, say to Neo first time he saw him? I don't first think... time they met face to face. 
What did he call him? I don't think he said anything. He said, Mr. Anderson. Yes, he did. No, he, he didn't. Apparently, oh, he didn't say uh, that. What did he say? I don't know. But Dude, where are you getting this news he didn't from? Say anything. Fake news dot com. <laughs> www dot. This is fake crap oh, man. I wish we could pull up a, a video. These are just Mandela effects that I found, like on a Mandela effect website. Give me one more. Can you give me one more? Oh, uh, let's see. I, That's I, all I wrote down because those were the interesting ones that I found. Uh, see, you didn't play video games back in the day, but there's one on video games that I know you won't know about. What? Pokemon. Yeah, never. No, I got a Pokemon. My kids were into it, but not me. So the original Pokemon, do you remember how many original Pokemon there were? No. Well, there was 150. Wow. But now they're saying it was 151. But Yeah. yeah. All I know is Charmander and Pikachu. You know more. You know Squirtle. You know Bulbasaur. You know eh. Eevee. I got a bunch of those cards at my house I could go through and figure them all out. But you Might want to hold on to those. <laughs> yeah. Might be worth some money soon, bro. What's up, though? Uh, what the... That, <laughs> I don't know Pokemon, man. My bad. <laughs> no, that means we're we're wrapping it up. It is. Uh, it's been a good episode, yeah, I think. Yeah, I, I liked it. Um, damn, man. I, I feel like there's some other shit we can... Because I'm, I'm in a talkative mood now. I done took some shots with the uh, fans. Oh, come on. I mean... Topics away, man. All right. Um, Let's see. I don't want to get into any big topics because I feel no like... No secret societies. No, nah, not because... We'll, we'll do that on the next episode. Yeah, I want to save that for a show. Um, like, let's see. The other day, I brought a bottle of water in Burke Murray. <laughs> let's see. Burke uh, Murray. <laughs> all right, let's talk. I, I, this is just completely off of my head. Yes. Soda. We from the South, we call it soda. We call it yeah. Coke. You know what yeah. I'm saying? We don't call it pop. Yeah. Okay. That's a Midwest thing. Or pop. Northern thing I yeah think. north of mason dixon dude soda is literally poison mm, i think s- sugar is poison now i'm calling because oh, without the sugar all you got is caramel color but everything has water. sugar in it smoky no not everything everything you can get things without sugar I'm, okay it. yeah you gene- can get sugar free okay give me something you eat you eat potatoes no okay you eat that's starches french fries no okay that's potatoes <laughs> uh, wings you eat uh, wings tater tots yes <laughs> ass browns uh, look alright so hot wings right yes there's sugar in hot wings no yes you can, there's glucose you can get buffalo sauce without it anything it's gonna have a coast in it anything OSE sucrose yeah, glucose you can get it without it now sucralose is an alternative to sugar but it's, it's still, not an actual sugar it's an imitation it's man made but it's still sugar you know what I like is Zevia sugar it tastes like sugar but it's calorie free uh, so I, you're saying I, even I, if it's calorie free it's still poisonous it, what I'm saying, dude, I, y'all, look at this. I got a Sprite bottle right here. First of all, I just want to say to this. Oh, I don't drink sugar. I don't I don't take sugar. But mm-hmm. I snort cocaine on the weekends. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck, dude? Listen. <laughs> Who does that? This Nobody. Nobody on this show. I promise you that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. You sound like you started a frog, man. <laughs> look, in Sprite, okay, carbonated water. That's okay, right? Yeah. Okay. High fructose corn syrup. That's sugar. And so is that safe for you to drink? No. Would you give your kids high fructose corn syrup? No, I try not to. Do you let your kids drink Kool-Aid? No, I use stevia. Stevia. If if they're going to get Kool-Aid, which I don't think there is any Kool-Aid at my house right now, but if they're going to get it, it's going to have stevia in it, not sugar. Sugar. Not corn syrup. Yeah. All right, what else we got? We got citric acid. What the hell is it? Why that's am I drinking? Flavoring. But yeah. That's so it tastes like lemon and lime. Man, I shouldn't drink anything that says acid on it. I don't know. I mean, vitamin C. Postage stamps cut in four squares with roach spray on it. And I'm telling you, it's what? (laughs) Enjoy that. (laughs) I mean, I don't know, dude. Natural sodium bicarbonate. What Mm -hmm. is that? I'm just saying. But that's just not natural. Benzoate. 
and, and that's then it, the NX they put in there for, yeah. for the fun of it. And then in quotations, it says, to protect taste. <laughs> Bro. It's a preservative, man. Lot, there's lots of preservatives in sodas. Guys, y'all will, this is a rare occasion that y'all see me drink anything carbonated. Anything. Now, mm-hmm. I drink beer because I like my. I'm, I don't touch on myself. Either. Look at what he's doing. Look. Look. Zero. It, give me that goddamn Coke bottle. No. Re- read them ingredients. What's the ingredients? On? Dude, they should be sponsoring us. Hold on. Not the way you bullshitting. Fuck no, because it's You're still poison. bad mouthing them and like, yeah, hey, y'all should sponsor us. Your product's shit. <laughs> <laughs> Carbonated water, caramel color. What is that? It's the food coloring. Is that natural? No. Uh, there are caramel color. I mean, most food coloring is natural, right? No, na- my mom told me nothing is the only thing natural is if it's come in, comes in its own package. Mm-hmm. If it doesn't come in its own package, it's not natural. So it has phosphoric acid. N- not natural. But how's that? Phosphorus is. Oh, how's that roach spray taste? It's really good, actually. I bet. Potassium. Aspartame. Yeah, how's that cancer that's put in brains and rats? How's that taste? I don't know. That's never been proven to happen in people. Yeah, but in rats. Otherwise, they would have had to pull it off the shelf. Dude, they used to put cocaine in Coca-Cola. Ooh, here's a good one. Caffeine. Oh, how's that taste? Tastes like caffeine. The most used drug on planet Earth. You it think, is. Is it? Yes, it is. More than nicotine, you think? And it's one of the most addictive substances on Earth. So how's that? How's that? Look at them. <laughs> how's that taste? It's great. <laughs> God damn, boy. <laughs> how's that taste, I'm getting man? I'm geeked off the caffeine right now, man. He walked into my house and said, The goddamn globalists <laughs> the are eating your goddamn babies. <laughs> 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 they are not. <laughs> you the see how to look. Y'all see at the beginning of this episode how turned up Smokey was about that New Zealand. I'm, I'm joking because I know that's near and dear to your heart, mm-hmm. but. I love our podcast, bro. Man, we're doing great. I, I fucking love shit. it, dude. Hey, three times a charm, damn it. I want to give a shout out. Oh, Lord. Hold watch on. Watch this. I'm going to give a shout out to somebody, and then they're not going to watch this episode, and I'll be pissed off. Well, can I? Go ahead. Guys, I'm Irish. Hold on. Let me show y'all. Y'all, don't, We got the Irish flag in this thing. If y'all can see that, we got. I got four clovers tattooed on my body and the blood the celtic cross all right we the blood of the irishman is running through our veins so three times a charm cheers mm-hmm. and a green bottle <laughs> and a pill bottle <laughs> full of sodium bicarbonate yep uh, all right what was you about to say i want to give a shout out i don't give a shout out to leanne because i know she watches every episode right Shout out, Leanne. Thank and you she for the, loves the show. Thank you for the medic episode. Thank yes, you. Yes, and you got to come back on. Definitely. And me personally, I want to apologize to you because we put you at the end <laughs> of the UFC, and we shouldn't have done that, <laughs> Leanne. We didn't medic. know that people hate UFC. <laughs> well, I don't think they hate it. It's just no, it's it's a niche deal. I mean, right? Yeah, it's. The audience that was going to watch that was not going to watch the medical marijuana stuff. And the people that wanted to see the medical marijuana didn't want to sit through a half hour of UFC talk. And she gave out some very good information. She did. And you brought up something to me the other day. What happened in Florida with the marijuana? Didn't you tell me they were? Yeah, she told me. They, they, they made combustible marijuana legal, finally. Recreationally? Still medical. But you can now roll a joint. So I go to the doctor. Or I, I mean, it may, actually, I don't know if they can still. Man, we gotta have her back on here. Yeah, because I'm I don't a, know if they can. They can just buy plain bud now. Excuse me, guys. But you can smoke it with a lighter and a flame now. I mean, that's bud. I mean, let's. Yeah. Just, we need to have her on to clarify do everything. Smoke it, make that happen. All right. Make that happen. Or we can do the call, or we can wait till she comes back. I'd, down ra- I'd rather or have her up. in person. Yeah, if we could do that. All right. But anything else you want to get off your chest, man? Yeah, I want to give a shout out to Adam. Adam. Adam, you know who you are. Salute, Broski. He's a uh, tour manager for the great, greatest lyricists of all time. Hollywood Six. Take nine. Oh. You're, you're 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 down there somewhere. I'm in top five, top ten. Yeah, yeah top five hundred. Yeah, oh, 
okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, actually, probably one of the best lyricists I've ever worked with. That's for sure. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. And likewise. Thank you. You're welcome. I suck, though. I useless like you was chewing a steak and you was toothless that is dope you dude. thought about it for a second you're like yeah you do. I wouldn't have been. hold on no. you're, you're sitting here so no absolutely not bro i would not say you do you come up with some clever shit thank you the um dude i wish y'all heard some of his old shit man one it's a beat i made and it's a I, no, if you guys could find this I will, I will pay you for it but he made a song on a beat that i made take a journey through the mind of a lyricist yeah. Think, 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 journey through the mind of a lyricist. Dad. I'ma let you bitches know how remembers be cold. I'ma get off in your soul with a little bit of drove. I'ma try this beat 600 feet deep underground where the dead don't sleep under creep. If you beat the wrath on behalf of the raps that I spit, then perhaps gun claps make you wanna quit. Never tap out, I'ma roll again. Oh. I'm gonna fuck that up. I never crap out. I'm a roll again. I never tap out. I don't know submission, but I hold decisions in my head. Y'all dread that y'all couldn't make when you're dying on your deathbed to be sometimes when I don't know fear. I can stand it to the baddest motherfuckers out here and head back down if he's looking in my eyes. No surprise. No why see the spies inside. I ain't cried in years since my loved ones gone. Them tears unlock. I better hold the phone. See, I sold the bone. Everybody that makes hate. Gotta roll on. Everybody else fakes fate. Or the next man got a plan to make a grand. Gotta make a stand before we decompose and turn to sand. Be heroes, not the chumps that we see. Day zeros, not a pawns on a beat. Me, cause I flow easily. Let it be, get me to try to be T I M and M a fifty. Hey, <laughs> see, that's what I'm saying. Like he go in. I gotta keep going too. Yeah, I mean we could, but I don't. Yeah. I don't. Some people don't like hip hop. <laughs> he so. halfway through that, like, damn, how long are you going <laughs> for real? <laughs> but yes, man. Um, you're a great lyricist, Smokey. Thank Not you. only that, you're a good dude. I enjoy doing the podcast with you, man. And um, yeah. this is this is definitely like. An outlet for me. Therapeutic, right? Yes. Yeah. We needed this. Yeah. Anyway, guys, this is Trash Talk Episode 12. Yes. We need you guys to like. Like. Hit the subscribe button. Subscribe. And turn the damn bell on, please. Bing! That way you'll know as soon as it comes out. And you can see our pretty faces on this screen and watch us and... Give us all the love, man. We we we've been deprived of love for so long, and we need love. No, sir, you have been deprived of love. Oh, that was just me. Yeah, just you. Oh. I I, I okay. love. I, I I get love on the run. There you go. Anyway, guys, thank you for checking in to the twelfth edition of the Trash Talk episode. My Whoa. name is Behringer Hollywood Six Bonds. Yes, and I am Larry Smokey Ramirez Cowan. Thank you guys for checking it in. And I love you so I, much. Oh, I, love you. I love you more than I got that, it. I got it. <laughs> Thank you guys for checking in. We are over and out. Deuces.